Well, hello there, everybody. Welcome to the Hot Fix on this wonderful Wednesday. My name is Adef, and this is Challenger Approaching, the show all about challenge runs and the runners that perform them. Uh, uh, we're going to hang out today. You and the channel, after the fact, we're hanging out ex post facto. I'm not currently hanging out with you, but in a sense, it's kind of happening, so that's exciting. Uh, and I'm excited to be bringing you something that I have really loved to play over the past couple of years, and I've played on this show once or twice, uh, which is No Logic Ocarina of Time Randomizer. Uh, so basically what this means is there's no logic to where items can go. So typically when you play a randomizer, there is some logic uh, behind where items are placed. So for example, to complete this seed, I will need to get the bow at some point. It is possible, given that this is no logic, that the bow could be behind something that requires the bow. So by logical consequence, that means that a lot of glitches are usually required to beat a seed like this because there is literally no logic behind where items can be placed. Um, the other thing, we've got a couple of sanities turned on. Uh, so for example, we have pot sanity on, which means items can be shuffled into pots in the game, as well as we have crate sanity, shop sanity, skull sanity. Uh, so this is sort of just an all over the place, OOT, no logic, almost all sanity randomizer. I have a couple of the sanities turned off just because they add so much time and we have to cram this into under three hours. Uh, so we could get really lucky and it could go really fast. We could get very unlucky and it would be very hard either way. Uh, it's gonna be fun. But this is live right now. We're live on Twitch. We're, we're hanging out and uh, we're just gonna get into it here. Um, I also have music and sound effects randomized, so we'll see how that goes. Uh, we're gonna start in three, two, one, go. So immediately, there's a pot in Link's house uh, and it's a heart, so that's fun. Uh, any pot I've yet to open and or any crate I've yet to open will be like yellow. Uh, as opposed to the typical brown color. So if I haven't opened it and collected its reward, it will be yellow, sort of signifying, hey, I've got something. Uh, not necessarily something of value. One other thing I've done to make this seed definitely easier for us is I've given myself the sword and the ocarina in vanilla locations. Um, the reason for this is that those are two of the things that if you don't have in their vanilla locations, increase the seed time by a lot usually. So this is gonna be the Kukiri sword. Uh, and that's just because this is sort of like a marathon-esque showcase, uh, and I don't want us to be here all night. Um, and so we're just we're just we're just starting off with the sword. Um, yes, technically no logic means this could be impossible. It is incredibly unlikely to be impossible. Uh, I have played very few seeds that wound up being impossible, uh, but it has happened. It has happened. Technically possible, deeply unlikely. Um, got a couple pots in here, a red rupee I will absolutely take. Another pot, Deku nuts, I also want those. Um, but yeah, we're just basically gonna be trying to visit as many checks as we can as early on as we can uh, to try to get some of the items we need that open stuff up uh, because initially uh, it's not gonna be like that. I also have chest contents match like so basically like this is a Sculptula token. The chest looks like a Sculptula, you know, web. So it's a Sculptula token. That one on the left of your screen there is a heart. Um, and I'll go ahead and open this in case it's rupees. Uh, and the reason for that is it just makes it so you don't have to waste time opening chests you don't need, which is obviously really nice. Uh, and the heart one, you might say, oh, well, you don't need heart pieces and heart containers. Yeah, but health can be nice. So in early game, I'll probably open a decent number of them, um, but we're gonna check these pots. We're still gonna get Sculptula tokens early on because all five of the Sculptula reward checks, or five of the six, I guess you could say, um, not counting the hundred, obviously, uh, can contain useful things. Okay, we've got an incredibly good start, uh, super good start here on the shop. So the left side of the shop is completely random. Um, and the right side is just stuff from other shops. So like this is shop fodder. You know, there are lots of shops that have arrows. The left side is four things that are randomized from the item pool. So bomb chew bag, assuming this isn't a freeze trap or an ice trap, excellent. We have bomb chews super early, incredibly nice. Also gonna take this spirit temple small key here. We have key sanity on. 
uh, which means that small keys are going to be all over the place. Um, but early explosives is incredibly good. <laughs> Uh, very rare that that happens. And we have a shield already as well. Uh, Child is looking super completable um, very early on. We're going to get a Deku stick here. I might actually get a few. And we're going to go ahead and check some of these hints. But yeah, things are looking good so far, which usually means things are going to go bad <laughs> quickly. Um... Outside Ganon's Castle is foolish. That's fun, because I literally practice all the outside Ganon's Castle stuff right before this, so that's fun that none of it is going to be necessary. Always fun to see. Just bonk into that. That's important. That's a crucial step. Was this seed vetted? I had a friend take a very quick five-minute glance at the spoiler log just to see if it looked beatable, and they said it should be fine, so that's all I know. Okay, Zora's Fountain also foolish. Um, that doesn't necessarily include the Ice Cavern or Jabu entrance. Also, dungeon entrances are randomized. Um, never mind. No, they're not. Well, they could be. I thought I randomized them. Maybe I didn't. Maybe I didn't. Well, we don't know for sure because things can randomize to their own entrances. Uh, so it might still be randomized, but just lucky. Um, we can do everything here. So we're gonna do it. We're gonna do it big. Shield means we can clear this guy. This doesn't look painful enough yet. Uh, yeah, you never know. Yeah, that is one sad thing is there's not one like verification green rupee because of all the pots and crates. Uh, so there's lots of green rupees. So we don't know which one is the one, because people love to look for the, the green rupee. Uh, but that, uh, that won't be the case. Okay, I'm gonna start skipping some of these chests. We don't want to skip every small brown chest, because having rupees is nice. Uh, but for the most part, I am trying to go fast. So we're gonna, you know, hopefully maintain that endeavor. Okay, so we're gonna climb here, and then there's probably like 10-ish more checks in the Deku Tree for us. Um, so we'll have to see what we wind up with. More than likely, there will be essentially nothing here, um, just by virtue of how many checks are in the game. But clearing this kind of thing early is just a good idea uh, to not have to come back here. Nice little B-tap to get the sword back out. I think that is just a brown chest over there. I can't really see. Uh, yeah, okay. And let's jump down to the basement. Ah, I missed. I was angled too far. Oh, that's fun. Link... <laughs> Occasionally, Link will do this thing where he, like, barely jumps uh, off a ledge if your momentum is weird. So let's get a bit of a running start here. Then let's take a look. What are we working with? Sculptula token. Uh, I'll take it. You never know. The 10 and 20 or 30, 40, 50 Sculptula rewards could be really good. Usually they're no good, but you know what? We can't know that until we do it. And that is a heart. Okay. Uh, we actually can full clear this dungeon right now, which we typically cannot this early but I can get literally everything. So I'm just gonna do it to just sort of, you know, circumvent having to come back here. So that's a little B1 skip. Uh, I don't have a Deku stick. I can get one here. I need one. Faster climbing is nice. Uh, I don't think I'm climbing any faster. Don't, I don't think so. Uh, I need a Deku stick. 
Can I get one from somewhere? <laughs> oh, you know what? I have to get one from over here. Okay, let's go back through this. I can't. Well, we're locked in. Um, is there a Deku Baba in this room? There is. Kill him like that to get a Deku stick. This guy for a Deku stick. This is super cool that I'm having to do this. This is not a, <laughs> a thing you ever have to do. <laughs> Yeah, we're gonna get the bomb tomb sculptula here in a second. That is the wrong door. There's a Deku stick right there. Why didn't he pop up when I went over there? I thought there was a Deku Baba in this room that gave sticks. What gives? This is silly. This is silly. Okay, we're hoping this is not good. Okay, we're gonna skip that. The hover to get up there is not too bad, but I'd rather not do it. Unbelievable. Okay. Let's go finish this godforsaken dungeon. So far, nothing of value here, which is not shocking by any means. Um, like I said, there are so many checks that the likelihood that any one dungeon is housing, like, the stuff uh, is very unlikely. Did not mean to do that. Oh, that's fun. Don't want to die, really. Okay, good, that didn't hit. You know, I just wish the game would target who I'm trying to target when I want to target them. This is not a great showcase of skill at this point. Kind of feels like we uh, don't know how to play the game, but I promise you I do. <laughs> Should have probably picked up the heart, but it should be fine. Cool. Easy little one cycle. We're fine. Everything's fine. Redeemed. Solidly redeemed. What do we got, Goma? Probably nothing, if I had to guess. A key! You know what? Oh, it's a GTG key. Never mind. <laughs> at first I was like, nice! And then I was like, wait. I don't need that literally at all. But that's fine. And we got the Shadow Medallion. Not really important. Um, for reasons you'll see later. Uh, just given my particular settings. But nonetheless, let's move on. So the next big series of checks I'm gonna do is um, the goal. Okay, so first of all, the goal for this rando is we just need the go mode items and then go to Ganon. Uh, like I said, Ocarina is vanilla. That's the end of the vanilla checks though. Um, so the, the bow, magic, and light arrows and Ganon's castle boss key are all we need. The requirements are relatively light, but that doesn't mean it's gonna be easy. No logic still, you know, I mean, you're gonna get have to get lucky. Uh, because we need all four of those things. Bottom of the well has a green rupee. Boy, doesn't it. Uh, okay. I don't wanna play the Ocarina game. It is such a waste of time. But I know the one time I skip it is going to be the first time it has something useful. Because uh, I never skip it, and it's always a waste of time. It has never had anything good. Not once. Sun Song, by the way.
Anything? You know, who knows? Could wind up being important. You never know. <coughs> Bow, magic, light arrows, and the Ganon's Castle boss key uh, are all we need. Okay, we're hoping something drops bomb shoes here. Nope. So one nice quality of life hack here in the more recent versions of the randomizer is that the game treats bomb chews like bombs in that you can get bomb chew drops, uh, which is incredibly nice. Um, just super duper nice. Let's do this setup. Do I even remember how to do this setup? That's the real question. That's not it. I don't know that I'm going to remember this setup. Let's go from inside. This is the way I do know how to do it. It's been so long since I've done it slowly that I'm like, don't know why I didn't just come in the way I usually do. I don't think that's going to work. Nice. Okay. We're fine. We're fine. Okay, that's a heart up there. Don't need that. I'm really sorry about the blinking health. It will fix very soon, I promise. You know what? I'm going to actually walk down. Check this. That is a diving scale. Okay. So we have knowledge on where the silver scale is. Or rather, a progressive scale. Because... Gold scale and diving scale are sort of shuffled as just whichever one you get first is silver and the one you get second is gold. Uh, and let's go ahead and check this. I'd like to hit this day-night cycle, but I think I'm way too late now. I took way too long. Doing a little water-extended super slide here. It's going to be close. I think I miss it. Well, maybe? No, it's nighttime. No, it's daytime! Dude! It's playing the nighttime music, like the like nighttime. Wow. Oh my God. It's actually so nice. Uh, check the cucko reward. Slingshot, okay. It's actually nice because I am not gonna have Navi here. So I'm gonna go ahead and go to bottom of the well now because uh, I need a cucko to get in there. not it. So I'm trying to get ISG off of a cucko here while I pick it up. Uh, the reason you'll see in a moment. So I'm doing a cutscene dive here. Uh, the water doesn't register Link swimming in it uh, whilst a cutscene is playing. Typically done with a Navi text box, but can be done with that cucko getting angry text box, or uh, cutscene, pardon me. I'm just gonna kill him in hopes I get a heart. Would be nice. Yay, okay, the beeping's done. All right, this bottom of the well is pot city, bro. There are like 50 bazillion pots here. Let's check this chest. It's not important, that's good. Uh, there are like two checks that are two or three that are basically behind having Zelda's lullaby here. Uh, and we are hoping that none of them are important. Check this one. Okay. So far, two for three. Two, two of the three so far uh, are fine. Are a non-issue, basically. Okay. 
So far, this is pretty good. Okay, well, I've tried to kill them and it didn't work. But we saw that it was a heart inside the chest or the, the coffin, pardon me, so we don't need to go in there. In the basement of Bottom of the Well, there is a section that has like 20 checks. It's not 20, it's like 10 or 12. Uh, but nonetheless, 10 or 12, more than zero. I hate it when that happens. Okay, that's not important. I don't have any bottom of the well small keys, so I can't like full clear this dungeon right now. Okay, what's this? Okay, that's fine. Okay, so we don't need Zelda's lullaby. Uh, we don't need to come back after that, so that's fine. Um, what is in here? Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Could check that Sculptula. Don't really want to, but I could. Check this. We'll take it. Uh, I am now going to try a thing that I don't know if I'm gonna remember how to do. down on this frame with the chew. Hmm, I don't really remember this setup. One, two, three, I'm gonna save again just in case. I think over one. Did it not pull the chew? Just up, right? Hmm. <laughs> Trying to remember this setup for this fine clip. That's not gonna work. Okay. Did I just press power instead of reset? I'm a genius. I'm a genius. I'm a genius, it's official. I'm a genius, so don't, don't even worry about it. Well, that gives me a second to look this up. It's climb three over one. So far, so good. Okay, it's down two frames. Pull the chew. Hold up, I think. Okay, we'll, we'll try it once more. We'll try it once more. I would like you to see it, it's cool. Uh, but if I fail it, I'm not gonna worry too much about it, to be honest. Okay, one, two, three, ESS right, down right one, down right two, down right three. 
side hop, side roll, up three times, over one, and we go down one, down two, and then let's just verify. So we go down two to the turn frame, pull the chew. That doesn't seem right at all. Oh, hold up one frame. Hold up one frame. There we go. Okay, because typically you can't get over here uh, until you have the Zelda's Lullaby. Uh, so this is one of a few methods to get over here. And an ice trap for my troubles. <laughs> Just not what you want to see. I do not feel rewarded at all. Nice little one cycle. This is much harder as child than adult. I'm pretty happy about that. I rarely get that. And it's literally nothing. Okay, well, how fun. Uh, I'll try one more little thing just for fun. I can get a few of these chests without a small key by swimming out of bounds here. Waiting for Link to fall. Should be one more frame. And jump slash. Okay. Uh, let's see what this is. Okay, cool. I don't need to worry about that. Uh, and then we can check this. I want to Deku nut these guys. Not important. And that's not important. Okay, well then let's uh, let's just go to the basement and let's get our chews back. Actually, I can just go here. This will take me right there. Okay, now for the actual good stuff. So far, nothing. Um, but, oh, I'm gonna die. Okay, I didn't die. That's great. Great for me. Great news for me. I'm out of bomb chews though, which is kind of annoying because I can't check the map chest. That was foolish. Okay, we've got a ton of checks right here. We're hoping for literally anything good. Really, it was all money? For real? <laughs> That's so stupid. Okay. Yeah, we've got the Ganon laughing sound effect for our <laughs> slingshots. Well, remarkable. Remarkable bottom of the well. Uh, there's like two more things we can check. Um, three more, actually. I've pulled out all the stops in this dungeon and it has given me nothing. I wouldn't be shocked to later see a like, checking bottom of the well is foolish uh, somewhere, which, you know, is just gonna be so fun to see after spending all this time, but that's fine. That's what Rando is all about, baby. Check this, and... Okay, we got a bottle. We got a bottle out of it. 
could be important. You never know. You never know. Could be crucial. Could be crucial. Let's mark that. Um, and then let's go check this map chest really quick and hope that it's good. Uh, we'll pick it up, sure. And then we're getting out of here. Okay, if you're wondering why I lean away, my Wii is very far away. <laughs> and a backup shield that is now dead. But that's fine. That's fine. Cool, so nothing of value. Well, what can you do? What can you do? Get me out of this dungeon, please. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna come, we're gonna leave, make it nighttime, and then come back. Uh, because we are going to get a ton more checks here. Just a plethora. We're also hoping for some bomb chew drops at some point. I'm going to leave and wait a little bit and then go in because Dampe only uh, is present at certain times of night. A lot of people don't know this, but like there is an actual clock similar to Majora's Mask running in OOT. Uh, as you might imagine, given the fact that the day and night last a certain amount of time. Uh, and so Dampe is only in the graveyard from like 10 to 12 p.m. or something. Um, so we don't want that uh, to not be there because we need to check it. Blue rupee, that's five rupees. Let's go. <laughs> Is it bad that you're hoping for the run to be incompletable? That's not bad. What that, that would be fun. It's kind of fun when the run is incompletable because it's like you figured out a, like a cool logic puzzle in a sense. Um, it's not, why'd I go in here? It's not the most fun thing in the world, but it's interesting. Will this run be on YouTube? Yes, it will go on YouTube sometime in the future. Man, just like nothing so far. Let's see what it is once we get on the ladder. Another gold sculpture token. You know, the game is giving me a lot of tokens. If this were a logic seed, you'd probably think something was there, but this is no logic, so it means literally nothing. Uh, let's check this guy. What is all sanity? So there's just a lot of different places items can be, like skulls, which is skull sanity, crates, which is crate sanity, and so forth. Uh, hey, a big chest. Okay. Um, and let's quickly do this. And get bugs. Bugs are very useful. What did this say? The song, okay, that's not important. What do you got? Pocket egg. Okay. <laughs> the earliest part of the adult trade sequence. It literally could have been any part, by the way. Um, okay, nothing of value here. I don't think there's any other checks right here. So let's go do this. Just kidding, there's the skulls. Why am I going this way? Man, just a severe dearth of items here. It's all rupees, bro. <laughs> it's all rupees. All rupees all the time. There's a bottom of the well small key, but I know better than to go back in there. That dungeon hates me. There's nothing there, I bet. And if there is behind one of those locked doors, I'm gonna be really upset about it. Uh, that's another heart. I, okay. Didn't mean to talk to you, lady, but that's all right. And let's check what the sculptural rewards are. I'll get this one, because I already have 10. It's money, who is surprised? Uh, 50 is not important. 30 is not important. 
40 is not important. What about 20? 20 is not important. Okay, so we literally didn't need to collect any of the Sculptula tokens, and we don't have to collect any moving forward. Kind of sad, but, you know, what can you do? It's what you get for that first shop luck. I mean, truly, right? This is such classic no logic. It's like, get lucky in the first 20 minutes, immediately have the worst luck of your life. <laughs> All right, so we're going to talk to Mr. Dampe here. You want to give me something good, friend? Nope, sure doesn't. Uh, let's check this. Man, just nothing. Just nothing. Still nothing. We can check below by doing this little trick where you see up out of a roll into a wall. Uh, that's a huge rupee, so if we're ever in need of 200 rupees, we can get some here. Man. Just nothing. Okay, well, when in doubt, there is really only one place to go as child. If you're truly lost and you're not getting what you need, I'm looking for a bomb tree, by the way. Um, okay, well, if you don't know where to go, you go to the pot room. You go to the pot room. Now, I gotta give you some lore. I gotta give you some lore. Over on my stream, because I, I stream these pretty frequently, because I love doing them. They're just so much fun. It's great to interact with chat. We love memeing about how stupid the runs often become. Um, there is this pot room just inside of the drawbridge that leads to Castletown, and typically there is just one Sculptula in there and that's it. But with Pot Sanity on, there's like literally 20 checks. And more often than not, something incredible is in there. So I often run a prediction in my chat of just, will there be anything important in the pot room? Uh, and again, actually I should check this while I have some shot, because I'm not going to be able to do this easily as adult. Uh, more often than not, the answer is yes. In fact, we do the prediction every time, and I think doubters have only won once. Ever. Okay, Din's fire. Interesting. Interesting. I'm intrigued by that. That's an intriguing scenario. I should probably be keeping track in my notes, but who needs notes when you can use your brain? Uh, that's right, chat. I'm completely freeballing this one. So far, we've got Silver Scale in Zora's River, Heart Piece Location, and we've got Din's Fire in Hyrule Field Sculptula. Check this hint. Spirit Temple has Iron Boots. Okay, you know what? I am going to write it down. I'm going to write it down. Iron Boots in Spirit... Dins in HF's uh, skull and silver scale in Zora's river. And I'm going to make that small and put it right here. And we're good to go. Could have done that while I was waiting for day night, but I'm stupid. We don't necessarily need Din's fire, silver scale, or iron boots, but we could. It depends on where the other things are. All right, what do you think, chat? If you think something good is going to be in the pot room, press one. If you think nothing good will be in there, press two. It's the moment of truth. <clears throat> no chest check? Uh, I know the chest has nothing valuable based on its size and texture. Here we go. That is all three bullet bags, by the way. <laughs> Before anything else of value, we have all three slingshots. Uh, Water Temple, small key. Saria's song, not necessarily important. Strength isn't really that good. In fact, sometimes it's bad, uh, but we will take it. Fire Temple, small. You know what? Sun Song is pretty incredible. 
Okay, so we're on Surya's and Sun Song so far. Double defense. So far, I wouldn't call any of this, like, unbelievable. Sun Song is nice, but not crucial. Wow, so far. So far, not really anything. Which is kind of crazy. Is it really gonna be an empty pot room? For real? No shot? This literally never happens. Wow. It's not important. <laughs> Doubters would have won. They're probably really mad that I'm not streaming this to my own channel. <laughs> Surya's and Sunsong could be important, but not commonly. Uh, wow. Okay. Typically, this means I should go adult pretty fast. Uh, just the likelihood the child is good here is just so low. Also, like, nothing in these shops. Okay. Um, we can play this game. Congrats to the people who pressed two. Ganon continues to laugh at me. I didn't lose. Look, small keys are nice. I'll take a small key literally any day. They are always nice to have. And we can play this as well. Because we have a bomb chew bag. We need to play twice. Okay, that's not important. This is how you lose the game quickly. Oh, Chad, I just lost the game. Oh! Uh, and not important. Okay, get me out of here. And it's just two prizes, so we've checked both of them so we can leave. Okay, there are some checks here at night, and I do need to do this child trade quest initiation really quick, so I am going to get this, which is also vanilla, uh, only because... I have made it such that the mask shop has nothing. Okay. All right. <laughs> we need that. That's our first go mode item. We take those. We take those. Uh, you don't say. You don't say. <laughs> That's the check we just got. Literally five seconds ago. Great. Thanks for that game. Appreciate that. So generous. Uh, we need to wait a whole day night cycle here, so now would be a great time for donations. Um, wow, okay. I can't believe that hint was that. Very silly. Bomb choose, bomb choose. Bomb choose. Not a chance, not a chance, not a chance. I wanna see if there's anything cool I can teach you all while we wait for this day-night cycle. Hmm. I mean, I can just get ISG for fun. Yay! <laughs> VC crash, don't jinx me, I'm saving. Is Sunsong slower? I am, and this is a fun fact, a moron. I almost never get Sunsong, so I have to wait for these things constantly. Great point though, Sunsong. <laughs> Huge. Please bonk this. Okay, none of that is important. Got some pots in here. Chat, what would I do without you? Truly, what would I do without you? 
Small key to Ganon's castle is really nice, potentially, uh, because one other setting I have turned on that I neglected to tell you about because I forgot uh, is that I, such that we aren't searching for Ganon's castle boss key for like 3,000 years, because uh, that often happens. I have made it such that the Ganon's castle boss key will be in Ganon's castle somewhere. Um, so... That doesn't mean it's free, though, because it could be behind one of the many item requirements uh, in Ganon's Castle. Very recently, I had to do an Aseed Fire Trial with uh, no Goron Tunic and no Hover Boots and no Hammer and no Strength. Uh, so that was a real test of my patience. Also, everybody say hello to Richard and then goodbye to Richard, our king. And let's get out of here. Let's skedaddle. And again, that one's still a Triforce just because I didn't pick up what was inside of it, which was a recovery heart. Okay, so the reason I'm doing this trade quest, even though the items on it are vanilla, is because Bunny Hood is at the end of it, and Bunny Hood is Mamma Mia Pizza Pie so good. Uh, because in Rando, Bunny Hood acts like it does in Majora's Mask, did not mean to do that, uh, where you run faster, which is incredibly nice. Oh, you want to see something cool? Okay, I'm doing it right now. But if you target and then turn around retarget exactly three frames later, uh, you can have the camera inverted, which is cool. Goron's pot, happy face, spits arrows. Okay. So, like, that. So now I can back walk, which is faster than walking. Uh, whilst facing the other direction. So I can actually see what's behind me. Please. Oh, that's not correct. Yes. The, the tunic was not really the issue. Uh, the issue was not having a way to move the silver block or get to the last rupee or get to the door. Oh, because I also didn't have long shot. Uh, it was fire trial with the absolute bare minimum requirements that it is physically possible to do fire trial with, uh, and it required a lot of glitches. That was weird. My game just, like, fully dropped frames. Presumably that's my capture card and not the game. Huh. That was interesting. I hope that doesn't keep happening, ever. All right. Um, I kind of want to go adult. This does feel smart to do. Nah, I'm going to go adult. I'm going to go adult. I can come back and do Long Long uh, Ranch, like, immediately. Uh, I'd rather get these hints and go adult. Shadow Temple, small key, and DMC. Huge Rupee and Graveyard, we know about that. Ice Cavern, not important. Jabba Joe's Belly, not important. Okay. So Shadow Temple, small key, and Death Mountain Crater is really the only takeaway there. Just followed you on Twitch. Hope there's more. Thank you so much. Really appreciate that. Uh, I stream OT Rando probably like once a week. I would say, on average. I didn't get the bunny hood. Something I forget to do so frequently. So another thing you might be thinking is like, okay, well, why are you worried about getting bunny hood before you go adult? Uh, the reason is because with glitches, we can wear the bunny hood as adult uh, and it still lets us move quickly. Let's do that. Um, and so I need that. Not need. I want it. So, like, as you'll see, wearing the bunny hood makes me move way faster. Shops, yep. Uh, save the mask shop and a few other, like, niche shops. 
There's the Master Sword. Also, I got strength and forgot to mark it. It is so hot in my room, I must turn the air conditioning on or I will perish. Ah, we started with the Forest Medallion, evidently, because that's the Prelude check. So we can't... It's called Equip Swap to equip items as the wrong age. I can't Equip Swap right now because my inventory isn't correct, but that Din's Fire will solve the problem, um, which is one of the reasons why Din's Fire is so nice. Uh, so I'm hoping to get a Hookshot relatively soon so I can go do that, but it's not, like, an absolute must. Um... Actually, I should come this way first. I don't have a shield, which means I'm going to be relatively limited on what I can do here. Which is why I feel like maybe I should do CAC first. But I'm already here. I'm already here. Even if Door of Time wasn't set to open, I could get past it with literally no items using a very easy glitch. So I just set it to open to save like 10 seconds. Uh, I can't do anything in there. No way. <laughs> okay. Uh, and I have this marker for the Ganon's Castle boss key. <laughs> so nice. <laughs> so remarkably nice. Oftentimes I am hunting for that for a long time. Uh, that is incredibly nice. Yeah, I have bridge open as well, because again, I can get past it a ton of ways. Um, but having Ganon's Castle open is kind of fun in my opinion. Because uh, it opens up checks in here early, and a lot of the checks here require glitches. Uh, so it winds up being kind of fun. Uh, am I going the right way? No. The answer is no. Uh, okay, we can't do anything else here. <laughs> At all. Uh, can't do anything in fire. I don't have any bomb chews, or else I could get past this block right now. Which now I feel kind of stupid. Can I get this? I don't think so. Not not easily, at least. Um, don't really want to clear those all those enemies with just a sword and not a shield. We're going to go to CAC and we'll come back. Is Scrub Sanity on? No. Uh, that is one of the few sanities that is not on. Uh, by virtue of, so scrub sanity, and then like the ones where cows give items and like bees, those are off uh, just because I don't like them. <laughs> Time for pot room two, electric boogaloo. Please break this pot. Thank you. And nothing. So far, we're doing okay. We still need magic and light arrows. We need magic and light arrows. And we're gonna go back to Ganon's castle pretty quick here um, because we can get a hint for the light arrows from Ganon. So we're going to come back pretty fast. Sculptula check. Uh, we got a hint uh, that outside Ganon's castle was had nothing. Okay, first things first, let's check the shops. We also need choose desperately. Thank you. Okay. Would really like a shield. Hylian shield would be super nice. I 
mean, I'll take a hard container. It's 10 rupees. Why not? Sir, may I please have a Hylian shield? Pretty please? Nope. Uh, we'll take this. A little frustrating. But that's okay. It's just how it is. You want to see something silly? Oh, wait, is this not the place that has the nighttime? Is this the nighttime pots? I can't remember. We'll double check. How did you get adult so quick? Even if I didn't have the open door, I could literally become adult in fewer than 10 minutes with glitches. Uh, it is exceptionally trivial. Because glitches are allowed and in fact required to beat seats like this. Uh, so, them's the way. Them's the way? What did I mean by this? What did I mean by this? We can play this, so we're going to... That's a mean first rupee to throw. Fun noise for, it's the Gwei noise for shooting the arrows. Second blue always comes after the first and just the two reds. Wow, thank you, sir. What a king. What a king! Yippee! Bomb shoes, please. Nope, okay. That's fine. I don't have a shield, I can't do fun stuff like that. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Uh, okay, one thing we can do right now is we can check where the hookshot, or at least one of the two hookshots is. Uh, Desert Colossus. I can do everything but, like, well, you know, that's actually kind of bad. <laughs> it's actually kind of bad. I'm just going to get this now. I want the money. And we'll pop down here. Any guesses on the damn pay race, chat? Please break this. Break the pots. Bombs. Okay. 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 Thanks, Tampay. Appreciate that, dude. Some people are guessing items, some people are guessing times. I meant times, but guessing items is kind of fun. This is gonna be like a 52. My movement's been bad and I got hit early and I bonked. Call it a 53. Also, I think something weird is happening with this current uh, version of the rando where I do have to play the race twice, even though they quality of life it such that sub minute would, you know, I have to play once. Still a 50, really? Yeah, I'm gonna have to play it twice. Unfortunate. We're going back in. Maybe I can redeem myself. No, Dampe, my lines were so good. Thank you. 
unbelievable. Forty-nine. I'll t forty-nine with a flame is pretty good. Uh, I don't know that that works actually with an A drop. Am I stuck back here? I might be stuck back here. I think I have to save warp. Yeah, I think. Well, could I sun song out? Hang on. No, I have to save orb. Oh, I could die. It's just gonna take forever. <laughs> yeah, no. I'm not gonna die with what is essentially 10 hearts because of double defense. Unfortunate. I realized that the setup I use, I actually need a shield for to clip past that block. Um, and I don't know a shieldless setup, though I am sure one exists. How come you had to do that twice? The Dampe race gives two rewards. One for just winning the race at all, uh, and then one for doing it in under a minute. In the base game, that's a hook shot and a heart piece, respectively. Still no shield. A little unfortunate. So the first thing we're going to do <clears throat> is come over here. You might be like, you can't get past that. You don't have strength. Or at least the requisite strength. Ah ha ha, but I can. with a super convoluted setup. Wow. <laughs> Tons of chests in this room. Looks like only one is worth opening. Which is this one. <clears throat> Just kidding. <laughs> Okay game, I get it. Oh yeah, I can't do this, I need one more key. I went the long way. If the scrub sanity isn't on, can you buy a shield from the scrub in here? Which, there's a scrub that has a shield. I don't, I, all I know is one of the scrubs has bombs. I don't know the rest of them. Where's it? It's like right here, isn't it? Does what, what are the scrub rewards here? Ganon's Castle, Deku Scrubs. What do you guys have? What do you guys have? Okay, this website doesn't say. Here's a game facts forum from like 2007. <laughs> uh, you know what? I'll find out in the break and then we'll buy it after the break. We're going to take a quick break here, gamers. Don't go anywhere. Stick around. We'll be right back uh, with more hotfix, more challenger approaching, and more this nonsense uh, in just a couple minutes. Stick around. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Welcome back. Welcome back to the GDQ Hotfix. Some quick announcements here. If you ever miss out on any of our shows or events, be sure to check out the VODs on youtube.com slash games done quick. I'm not reading from a script. What are you talking about? 
Uh, go to gamesdonequick.com slash hotfix for more info on our weekly shows and weekend specials and sort of what hotfix is, because I think a lot of people don't know. Uh, but it's stuff like this. Daily, fun, little speedrunning and challenge run content. It's very fun. I uh, would love to see you back. But, okay, more no logic, all sanity, OOT rando nonsense. Uh, items can be anywhere, like literally. Uh, I checked a YouTube video. It looks like none of those scrubs sell a shield. So whoever said that in Twitch chat, you're done. You're done, I'm afraid. I hate to, I hate to say it, but uh, you know like when umps throw people out in baseball? I've been on a huge baseball kick the last like 48 hours. <laughs> like truly just the last 48 hours. Uh, anyway. Uh, which makes sense that there wouldn't be a shield there because this is so late in the game. Who wouldn't have the Hylian shield in a casual playthrough? Um, but, you know, whatever. He just tagged me from behind real quick. Okay. We gotta fight the Stalfos and the Iron Knuckles with no shield, which is not my favorite thing, but we do have double defense, so. It's your God-given right as a chat member to be confidently wrong. Amen, brother. Okay, that's one. That's unfortunate that we didn't trade that. Okay, we take those. I'm alive. We take those. We're gonna do the uh, touch them real quick and go method here. If you don't know the touch them real quick and go method, I'll I'll show it to you. Gotta touch him real quick and then go. Okay, that's one. You know what? If he drops hearts, I am gonna take them because I think I do actually live in attack here, surprisingly, with double defense. All's well. Guys, I've got great news. I've got great news. Just phenomenal news. You know how the first two pot rooms didn't have anything? Can I interest you in a third pot room? How's that? We've got a wallet. Would love a shield, by the way. No, a heart container. Okay. Just break this pot, please. Wow. Just nothing in any of them? For real? <laughs> I cannot stress how rare it is for there to be nothing in any of the pot rooms. <laughs> Okay, well, we're headed up to Ganondorf because even though I can't hurt him right now, he will tell us where the light arrows are. And we need that info. Shadow Temple, okay. Okay, we have two keys in Shadow and there's a lot of checks super early. Uh, we just need a shield or hookshot, and I can go to Shadow. One of those two things. Mirror shield, Hylian shield, I don't care. Whichever. 
hookshot was what, Haunted Wasteland? I guess we can head there. GTG is pretty good too. Hook in Wasteland, light arrows in uh, Shadow. Why don't we, let's, let's head to GTG. There's like a ton of checks on the way. So let's go there. No, Iron Boots are in spirit. We still don't have any knowledge on... Oh, it wasn't Wasteland, it was Colossus? Yeah, you're right. I think you're right about that. Um, We don't have any info about magic. And we do need that to be able to shoot light arrows. And we need... So there's two magic checks somewhere. Because uh, that's by virtue of the fact that you there's magic and then there's double magic in the game. So there's two progressive magic upgrades. We just need to find one of them. It doesn't matter which one. Uh, we just need one. Speaking of baseball, I meant to bring this up earlier, but I forgot. Uh, of the members of chat, who here knows who Martin Baseball is? Sound off. I want to know who the OG Challenger Approaching fans are. We've now been doing Challenger Approaching for, this is genuinely true, almost four years. We're coming up on the four-year anniversary of Challenger Approaching, which is really ridiculous. Uh, time means nothing, and that's wild. And I get there before having to play the song. Yes. Okay. True, Zeno, true. Okay, a couple people know who Martin Baseball is. This is huge. This is deep challenger approaching more. Uh, yeah, I have Gerudo open, so the bridge is there. Um, so... In the early days of Challenger Approaching, probably the first year, we had a show with Dangers and Fur, and Fur was playing Super Mario 3D World, which is a game that has baseballs in it, in like two rooms. Um, again, we are looking for a shield here. Hookshot and magic, also important. Um, and uh, for some reason, we were improvising and just doing bits and landed on... The fact that apparently I have an uncle named Martin who is a baseball. Not an anthropomorphized baseball, just a baseball. He doesn't have a face or anything, he doesn't speak. Uh, but he's a baseball and he's my uncle. And he's the CEO of baseball, which is pretty exciting. And he is also present wherever baseball is played, whenever it is played. So again, very exciting. Um, so we're joking about this, whatever. Then somebody made a Martin Baseball Twitch account and started coming into my stream like every week and just posting one Martin Baseball, like a baseball emoji. So Martin Baseball has been a key herald of uh, the ADEF brand for some time now. And the people I work with to do merch had a really fun, cute idea. Because uh, we had done merch with Martin Baseball on it before, where, like, I've got a hat that says uh, Martin Oji-san in Japanese, which is Uncle Martin, just because I thought it looked cool. Uh, and it's a cute little hat. We got a tank top, whatever. But there is right now a pre-order open for an enamel pin. Uh, a very cute, really awesome enamel pin. Uh, so if you're a fan of Challenger Approaching or you're a Martin Baseball fan... The pin exists, the page is up. You can check it out if you want. Uh, we need 30 pre-orders. We're at like 11 or 12 right now or something. The pre-order like just opened. Uh, but consider getting a cute little Martin baseball pin. Why not? Why not? Uh, okay, that's unimportant. I do kind of want to do Sun Song though. 
Go get a go get a go get a Martin baseball enamel pin. Treat yourself and maybe a loved one to the gift of baseball. And isn't it such a gift? We still don't know. This is another fun little wrinkle about Martin Baseball. Uh, we don't know who it is that runs the Martin Baseball account. I just completely missed that. That's fun. Um, I'm pretty sure I know. And it's somebody that I know IRL. And I asked him about it. And I was like, be honest with me. Like, you're Martin Baseball, right? Like, you run the Martin Baseball Twitch account? And he was like, no. And I was like, really? Because I'm pretty sure it's you. Because <laughs> they have slipped up a couple of times and accidentally posted from the Martin account when they meant to post from their main account. And so I was pretty sure I knew who it was based on context clues. He is very adamant that it is not him. So the jury is still out on who Martin Baseball, what the Martin Baseball Twitch account true identity is. Because as we know, the real Martin Baseball doesn't have fingers, he can't, you know, or, or a way to speak or give information to a computer. So, you know, it can't be him, because he's real. Let's be very clear on that. Uh, let's be let's be crystal clear on the legitimacy of Martin Baseball's existence. Uh, but the Twitch account, on the other hand, we don't know. We don't know for sure who runs it. I think I know. But he claims it's not him. So, you know, maybe we're having the opposite of an I'm Spartacus moment. In fairness to this person, I have thought it was like three different people over time. I've been pretty sure only twice. One time I was like kind of sure, but this time I'm like 99% sure. But I saw him in person and asked and he said no. So who knows? Who knows? Maybe Martin paid someone to be him. This is a good point. This is a good point. There's also the possibility that every time that Martin quote unquote messed up, it was actually a red herring. And the person who actually runs the account knew I would think it was someone else by like messing up on purpose. But that's like a triple bluff. That's like so many degrees removed from what actually probably happened that there's just no way. There's just no way that's the case. Brother. This music is not very fitting. Oh? Even if it's a Hylian shield, I'm happy. <sighs> Two bows! You know what, I should probably mark this, right? Two bows before magic, always a disappointment. <clears throat> could be multiple people, could be. Could be, though I think password sharing on Twitch is maybe kind of hard, but I don't know. Maybe it isn't, maybe it's incredibly easy. Okay, there's a boss key over there or something. I can't really do any of this right now. We can do like one more check reasonably. That's true. Martin could have been perched above a keyboard and just fell. But that kind of begs the question of how Martin posted more complex messages with nuance and language. But, you know, what do I know? Check. 
brother. I'm gonna run out of time. Oh! Oh my god, I did it! <laughs> wow, they were being so annoying. You know what, just because that was so hard, I'll take it. Head to the wasteland. You know what they say about monkeys, typewriters, and Shakespeare? Yeah, you know? Somebody could just be repositioning Martin back up on the shelf every day. And he keeps falling down and just, you know, more unbelievable things happen every time. Also, for the real OOT community veterans out there, F that sign. Wasteland at night, always fun. And by fun, I mean not fun. Uh, I can't cross this gap normally, so I need to get some speed and go along the edge. And then side hop right at the end. And my side hop input got eaten, which is cool. I was probably too early. That might be too early. Go a little bit later, like a couple frames. Okay, side hop. That's not like frame perfect or anything. I just like buffering it. For some reason I can't see and also can't think right now where these flag posts are. Should be up into the right and then up into the left. Okay, there's a couple checks here. Shadow Temple small key, really nice. Uh, I can't really get that, but that's fine. We have to choose, it's okay. Shadow Temple small key is nice because we know we need to go to Shadow. So that's super nice. Okay, time for Adef's Wacky Wasteland. This is my setup for getting across the wasteland without the lens of truth. It's pretty wacky. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Side roll, retarget, turn around. Let's go. I think I retargeted too early. It's fine. There's a crate behind me, but because I always void out trying to get to it, uh, I'm gonna hit this load zone first. Okay, we are hoping that the hookshot is on one of the Sculptulas or something. Actually, one of the Sculptulas in specific, or Requiem, because if it's on Nairu's Love, or the sculptural check that pretty much requires hookshot. We're kind of SOL. Okay. I'll just wait to go back quickly. Okay. 
Okay, it's right there. Nice. We can get that. What's in spirit? We got hinted to something in spirit. I was really hoping it wasn't that Sculptula, and it's not. So that's nice. I should probably still check it, but... That's not what I wanted to do. It's a heart piece. Okay. All right, we have Hookshot. Super nice. Yeah, it's Iron Boots. That's right. My hookshot noise is the Rudo sound effect, I think. Yikes. It's not the camera I wanted. Still no Hylian shield. Fire Temple boss key, okay. Uh, I can't really super easily get past any of this, so we're just gonna have to come back. Okay. All right. We've got Hookshot, we're in business. We can do more checks now. I still don't know where magic is. I think the link got posted in chat, but I just realized I never told you where the Martin pin is. Uh, if you're watching this on YouTube after the fact or something, uh, it is on tantrumcollectibles.com. You find the ADF page, and then it's there. And that's it. Why did I do that? Is that going to hit? Where to? We're going to go to Shadow. Fire. The reason I got to inspire is so that I can do this. So I now have equipped Bunnyhood as adult, even though typically you shouldn't be able to do that. And when I put it on, I can run faster, even though it doesn't appear on Adult Link's model. Pretty neat, huh? I actually kind of want a shield first. I might scout some shops here to try to get a shield. How many shops are even left? Goron City, Zora's Domain, like that's like it. We'll come back for Dodongo's Cavern. That's a blue rupee. Make it nighttime. Dude, Sunsong is so nice. <laughs> Sunsong is so nice. Not important, but that's fine. Is 
still nice to have nonetheless. But it opens the shop, so we take those. The noise is hilarious. I'll take more chews, sure. Literally any day of the week. Okay, in case I spend a bunch of money, there's a ton right there. Okay, it paid off. We'll get firers just to have them. Nice. Okay. I gamed. I won't deny it. Now things will accelerate. <laughs> Having a shield finally is really nice. Ooh, a big chest. Magic? No, but okay. Well, <laughs> like the least important song besides Song of Time. Uh, yeah, let's check this. So I can't really get this chest very easily right now that's over here. Wow, this being a big chest is actually making this really annoying. Uh, can I even do this like this? Maybe if I turn around this way. Hang on. Let's try. Half weird shot. Oh my god, I can't read the hint because I did that. It comes back, doesn't it? Right? Right? I didn't read the hint because I'm dumb. <laughs> Stay broken, really? Shot at Lake Hylia. Okay. So we know where the other hookshot is. Probably not going to need it, but you never know. A lot of GTG keys. I 
can finally break pots easily. My god. That's been the most annoying part of this, to be honest. That looked cool. Okay, we're gonna get back on here. We have like infinite time. Be honest, how many of you knew there was a thing up here? Uh, okay. Did we get that? Wasn't even worried. Wasn't even worried. That's two hints now for the same thing. Interesting. The other Ganon's Castle small key. Okay. Okay. That's a, a, a handful more checks. Not the worst thing that's ever happened. SFM is foolish, okay. I don't really want to waste time on DC when I can go to Shadow and, you know, who knows, maybe magic will be there as well. Um, I am going to pass DC right now, though, so I'm, like, I might as well. Let's do it. There's like a ton of checks in DC, so you know, you never know. Could get something good here. Would like a bomb drop if possible. Not quite. I can just do this. Where's Pierre? Thank you. Not me making a fool of myself. Chill, chill, chill. What if we all chilled? What if we let me hit the button? Thanks. Brother. Bomb drop? Nope. Uh, we'll t I, I thought that was Serenade, and then I remembered the warp songs are upside down. We do not need the Song of Time. Oh, we can get infinite whoopies like this? I just want a bomb drop. Is that so much to ask? They're super likely to give bombs, by the way. Okay, I found out the other day that there are checks in this Lizalfos boss room. Did not know. Did not know, I'll be honest.
No, don't run away. I think that's all of the checks in here. Come on. Again, we don't have scrubs on, so we don't need to go back there. We're just looking for magic. We just want a little bit of magic. Is that so much to ask? A little bit of magic in my life. I can't leave here without save warp. Okay, well, that's not technically true. I could go through the other exit, but whatever. No, I don't have freestanding on. Okay. The hunt continues. Oh, I could show you guys a cool thing. Lighting the eyes from down here. Pretty neat. <laughs> Annoying. Uh, no, Navi does not say anything. Uh, it's a small key. Shadow, small key. Fire. Most of them will be fire, GTG, like every time. Hey, a bomb drop. Somebody pulled through, good God. Yeah, we got no logic to spare here because there is none. So, you know. What are you going to do? Slash, just kidding. Every time it's a text box, I'm so hopeful. <laughs> uh, nothing there. Let's go here. Nope. Nope. 
Not a great DC so far. Did we get anything valuable? I don't think so, right? Really, a bomb drop has been our only win so far. That was early. You know what, I'll just throw this one. Unbelievable. I'm a genius. I went early again, or late, I mean. All right, there we go. <sighs> All right. Just nothing. Just nothing. Uh, I actually do want to go this way. So we already lit the eyes, so we don't need to worry about that. Okay. Side hop down. And let's do the end of the dungeon. <laughs> Where were you? Where were you the whole time? Just push this down instead of wasting a bomb. A bundle of arrows. Bomb drop? No. Of course not. Are you at ESA this year? I'm in front of you presently. I'm hanging out with y'all. This is a bomb drop. How did I call it? Uh, no, I am I am in the United States of America. <laughs> I got hit. Okay. Wait, I want to show a cool thing. Hang on. You know what? I'm too far back. It's fine. I would have gotten hit. I was going to show how you can do it with bomb shoes, but... <clears throat> Home of Martin Baseball. <laughs> Did you ever get a hold of BDEF? Nah, that dude, he's got a lot going on. You know, he, he, he went big time, so... You know, once you go Hollywood... Just stop talking to your friends, I guess. The people that made you who you are. It's kind of embarrassing for him, but, you know, whatever. We'll keep on trucking, you know. Do not need that. Okay. DC is completely clear, I think. I may have missed a pot here or there, but I don't think so. I got a VC crash. <laughs> For those of you that don't know, there is an error in the way the Wii Virtual Console presents Ocarina of Time, uh, and it means that there is a very, very, very small chance that the game can crash at literally any time. It very rarely happens. Uh, there it is. 
I have to power cycle the console. You can't just reset. That's great. Can somebody clip that and send it to me? <laughs> Do I know how small exactly? I don't, not off the top of my head. Uh, so what did I lose there? Did I get anything of value in DC? Because I don't know the last time I saved. Was there anything of value in DC? Okay, I save warped after the first Lizalfos. I think I just got a bomb drop, right? Like that was it, I think. Man, I can't believe I got a VC crash. Live on Hotfix. How fun is that? BDEF crashed my game? Dude, he will not leave me alone. Okay, didn't mean to do that. And by, well, he, he won't contact me, but he's still, you know, he's making time to screw me up. That's terrible. Thank you, Parkar. Appreciate that, dude. Oh, you know what I never did? Song of Storms check. Let's do it. We're getting every purple rupee out of the way. I'll tell you that. Oh, did we get Song of Time in DC? I think that was before I save warped, though. I think that was pre-save warp. Not that I need it for literally anything, but... Got our bomb drop back. Let's get up to shadow. Two more frames. One more frame. Release. Get ISG. And we're seam walking. So that was a hook shot jump uh, up to this seam. And then in order to walk on it, I've got infinite sword glitch so I don't fall off. Because these seams are incredibly precarious as they are not meant to be walked upon. Uh, remind me to check that gossip stone when I leave shadow, please. Do not let me forget. And we jumped over the load zone, so the trigger for the door is in here, so we can just hook, uh, jump, sh uh, oh my god, side hop right in shadow. No hover boots, which means certain things are going to be a little annoying, but that's okay. A lot of checks in this early half, which is good. Uh, are there any pots on this left-hand side? I don't think so. Looking for light arrows. We know they're in this dungeon somewhere. They are here somewhere. I'm gonna save again just because now I'm scared. We love bombs. Dekuna capacity. GTG keys, we have six. Sheesh. Forest Temple boss key, good 
forward. <laughs> I one cycled as child, but not adult. That's comical. It's so much easier as adult. <laughs> that is a sculpture line. Okay, so now we have a small problem, which is that we don't have hover boots, so if we get the truth spinner wrong, I can't just, like, walk away. So here's the solution. Not that. Okay, well. We're gonna get ISG so we can't fall. We're gonna hope it's first try, but if not, we'll be all right. <laughs> it was first try, so we're fine. Now, I need to get over there somehow. <laughs> so we're gonna mega flip. Fun fact, okay. Look at that big Beemos down there. Look how he just disappeared. Okay. So there's a big Beemos right there. But then there's another one. Watch how his head is spinning in one place. And then when the room transition happens, it's in a completely different place. It's actually two different big Beemos. They just have one loaded in the earlier half so that there's something to see there and he doesn't appear out of nowhere. Uh, but it's two different guys. Fun facts with ADEF. Woo! Is this the light arrows? Nope. It's a bigger bomb bag. I mean, I'll take it, but it's not what I wanted, really. Not really what I wanted, but that's fine. What's behind here? A key. Yeah, we'll get it. We'll get it. We'll get it. A weird shot for it. Skip the rupee collection. Very good. Is it one crouch stab? Is that what I'm screwing up? What what part of this setup am I screwing up? <laughs> I'm, I'm screwing up some part of this. Huh. Uh. Oh, this is what it is. Wait, no, this is what I was doing. <laughs> I could have sworn it was two. What part? Uh, wait. This is so ingrained in my muscle memory, and yet here we are. I think this is the, like, ancient setup. Huh. Wow, I really have to look this up? For real? 
This is not a hard trick. Okay, we can do this. That works. Yikes. Yikes. Yikes all around. Uh, let's do this. Okay, I'm glad that's not the light arrows. Wouldn't be that hard, but it would be annoying. We're gonna save here. Uh, just in case we wanna get this key back. I don't know what's in this room yet, obviously. <laughs> the hookshot noise is still funny. <laughs> Fire key, we can probably make do without it. Please don't hit me. Thank you. Okay, well, we need that, so that's that's pretty crush. That's pretty crush. And nothing. We'll continue through the dungeon a little bit. Uh, we are literally now just missing magic, and that's it. Okay, I fell. I made this so easily the other day, and now here we are. I swear to God I made this so easily the other day. I don't know. Okay, uh, let's just save warp, I guess. Let's hope that one chest that's in that room has nothing. We're hopeful. We're hopeful. We're deeply hopeful. Yeah, we just need magic, which we have no info on right now, which is a little unfortunate, obviously. You know what? I'm gonna unbuffer this. See, how hard is that? How hard is that? Don't forget the Gossip Stone, thank you. Thank you, as requested, you have helped, thank you. That was a little close. I was kind of giving him a little smooch there because I love him. Love that. Okay, there's not a terrible many checks we can do, but there's probably like 10. Which, hey, any of them could be magic. Any of them could be magic. And that, in and of itself, is kind of magic. Where's the guy? There's the guy. There's three checks here. There's an invisible chest, that visible chest, and a skull. Okay, the arrows don't matter, obviously. Invisible chest, not important. We literally so many purple rupees. If you believe hard enough, they could all be magic. Wow. What a miracle the human spirit is. that jump without hover boots. 
I missed the rupee. Okay. We're gonna do a little shenanigans here. I'll be honest. I don't know what I thought that was, but all three bomb bags being in our inventory is hilarious. I went so late. Please put me in here. Thank God. Sometimes that void does not play nice. There we go. That's a big stick. And that chest doesn't matter. That chest doesn't matter. This room has so many checks, and yet none of them are important. Ha! Huh. Okay, uh, does that open anything for me here? I don't think so, because I still am locked behind a small key in Zelda's Lullaby. Well, we have hover boots, which is nice, uh, potentially, really depends. Uh, but that is going to be it for this segment. We're going to take another break. So stick around. Stick around. We're going to take a break here. Uh, and we'll be right back with more hotfix, more challenger approaching, and more OT rando. Our final segment, we've only got a little under an hour left to solve this thing. We just need to find magic, and then we're in. Uh, so stick around. We'll be right back. <laughs> Welcome back, everybody, to the Games Done Quick Hotfix. This is Challenger Approaching. My name is Adef. Some quick announcements. Games Done Quick Express is returning to TwitchCon from September 20th to the 22nd. Submissions end literally tonight, July 24th, at 11.59 p.m. Pacific time. Uh, so use exclamation GDQX in Twitch chat for more info. That's super exciting. I will be there. Uh, and GDQ's next all women and femme speedrunning event, Flame Fatales, returns August 18th to the 25th. That's in just a little under a month. Use exclamation FF in Twitch chat to check out the schedule and let us know what you're looking forward to at the event the most. Gamers, with that, let's keep going. Let's keep going. We're looking for magic. We don't know where it is. If we make it to like 20 minutes left or so, uh, then I'll probably just look at the spoiler log and see if it's even possible to beat. Um, because we have a limited amount of time. We've only got like 40 minutes left. And I sure would like to beat it. But, you know, ultimately we're at the whim of luck here. And we don't have a hint. So I kind of want to go to Lake Hylia because there's a lot of hints there. High density of hintage. So that's where we're headed. I would like some bomb drops. Nope, okay. Um, we happen to know the other hookshot is in Lake Hylia somewhere, but obviously we're not quite there. Trying to think where else we should go. That's just like a ton of stuff very quickly. Um, I thought that was a crate for a second with something in it. We should probably check the Hyrule Field Gossip Stones as we go here. That's probably wise. Yeah, I'll do it, sure. No, I want a Mega Side Hop, please. Thank you. We're Wesson. We're Wesson. <laughs> Trying to super slide. There we go. Trying to move as quickly as I can here. Nice little <laughs> angled sort of gainer flip thing. 
<clears throat> Got a key. Song of Storms to Frogs, a heart piece. Got another Fire Temple key. Fascinating. I jumped at such an angle that I grabbed the other side. <laughs> the physics of that is fascinating to me, but what can you do? Fire Temple has a stone of agony. Go, 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 go. We need it. Oh, we don't need it. A few of the scrubs do have items shuffled. That is one of them. I will be very sad if it's in shadow because we can't really progress there right now. Uh, I can maybe go to the boss, but I'd have to do boat skip, which is a trick I have not done in a year. And it's also incredibly hard. Uh, but I'll try. If I have to. Where are you? I know you're coming. Yeah, the stick upgrade scrub also has something and the nut upgrade scrub as well. I have a feeling that Zora's Domain is the way. Um, I don't have any evidence to back that. Literally zero. But you know what? Sometimes it's about feeling rather than fact. Just came here because there's a lot of hints. Not loving the results. Not loving the results. Not what you want to see. Admittedly, not what you want to see. Um, we can check two more things real quick to get long shot, I guess. Doesn't really feel very crucial to me right now. <clears throat> Could be important though. I mean, I guess literally who knows. That's kind of a cool long shot location because it usually requires long shot. A great example of what no logic is. Uh, a thing that almost always requires long shot, having long shot. Pretty neat. Pretty neat. I 
can remember which direction to hold for that, Wes. Okay, we're gonna go to Zora's Domain. I'm kind of putting all my eggs in one basket here. I'm, I'm doing a setup for something called a distance mega flip right now to do a ground flip. I lost count, but I think that's five. No, this is wrong. One, two, one, two, three, four, five. Should work. Nice. Because that block of ice is blocking that load zone, but you can hit it <clears throat> by clipping into the ground. Uh, I need to get in this shop, but I don't remember the setup. Uh, Zora's Domain, shop, clip, Red ice. Here's a setup. Okay, that was... this. Sorry, I'm just learning a setup mid-run right now. ESS one frame right. Do that. Side hop left. Neutral slash shield. Wait, how? Oh, did he hold left there? Got a warp song. Serenade, funnily enough. Not really what we needed. Um, okay, this very definitely is not it. Um, we can unfreeze King Zora, I guess. know why that works, but it just does. <laughs> Don't know how that works. And now we need it to be night. Calling dibs on Lon Lon. If it's child Lon Lon, that's a pretty big L because I effectively just decided not to go there. Uh, that would be greatly unfortunate. But you know what? That's just kind of how rando goes. I think that's not magic. Pretty sure that's a purple ruby. Okay. 
Okay. Can I get there? Important. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, it's looking like I'm gonna have to look at the spoiler log, which is greatly unfortunate. <laughs> yes, I know that. I just did it. Um, this is just a showcase. Okay. Not super sure where to go now. Um, it's probably in a dungeon. I'm just going to look at the spoiler log only because it might take 25 minutes to solve. Uh, so let me take a peek here. Unfortunate, but these seeds can take upwards of six or seven hours. So, you know, I've, I've done my best in the allotted like two and a half. Um, okay, spoiler log. Let's search item locations, magic meter. Bottom of the well west, inner room, flying pot three, and Gerudo Valley crate near cow. I don't think that crate is there as adult. Um, you do either of those as child. Maybe it's there as adult. I don't think so. I don't think it is. I think we need to go child. Gonna be honest, I don't think I would have gone back to bottom of the well. It's so annoying that it's in bottom of the well because we did so much there. And I was like, oh, well, there's nothing here. And then I got that one key and I was like, oh, well, I'm not gonna go back there right now because I've checked almost everything. Turns out it was there the whole time, which is frustrating. <laughs> but what can you do? So they were both child, one of which we walked right by, and the other one we walked by as adult, but I wouldn't have gotten it as child. No reason for me to have gone there as uh, child, really at all. Yeah, but I couldn't have gotten it when I was in Bottom of the Well the first time. Like, it was not possible, because I didn't have a key yet. I got the key much later. And doubling back for, like, three checks is not really the way to do this quickly. Because it, when you're trying to do it in a speedrun setting, you're, like, trying to accomplish it as quickly as possible, right? So you're trying not to double back as much as possible. Because, like, if you cover ground you already covered, that's kind of a, an implicit waste of time, usually. Because you could get a much higher check density elsewhere. We're gonna need to do Cucko ISG again, I presume. Screwed it up again. Same way as last time, basically, except he went so much further. Screw it up again. There we go. I mean, it's not super unrealistic to think I would have found magic without any hints because there's two of them. And when, as you can see, I got every bomb bag, two bows, and all three slingshots. So, like, when there is more than one of something, you are fairly likely to find at least one going through the sort of check structure I went through. 
Uh, so we just got really unlucky that we didn't find one or a hint of one uh, anywhere. But, you know, it is what it is. I think this is the correct key door. 99.999999% sure they meant this side, obviously. Uh, but we're about to find out. Yep, there we go. Okay, well, what are you going to do? Um, fastest way back is probably... Why can't I remember Serenade right now? <laughs> I don't think I've had Serenade in a rando in like a year. <laughs> It starts with an A, and then I'm not sure what happens after that. There's two rights, I know that. Good lord. Just embarrassments all around. Oh my god. Go back, adult, and let's finish the job. I didn't want to pause and look at the song. That's that's a quitter's attitude. That's cowardice. I gotta just brute force it. Why not? So as you can see, when we went back adult, the game was like, okay, you had Din's fire equipped. We're gonna put that back on. Uh, but they're actually wrong. It was bunny hood the whole time. Stupid. It's very rare that Ganon's castle has essentially nothing, but there was like nothing here. I mean, I didn't check Spirit Trial or the End of Light Trial <clears throat> really at all or any of Shadow, but I did probably over half the checks. It's just kind of shocking. Uh, let's do this and that. Nope. Literally didn't use the hover boots one single time. Except for right there. <laughs> they got equipped, they should feel happy. Yo, Ganon's playing the Market Town song on his piano. He just loves the people. I think he's misunderstood. It is customary for me to do a Hess here up the stairs. So we're gonna do that. Save because I'm terrified of VC crash now. There we go. Nice little BLJ more or less. That's what it always looks and feels like. All right. Here we go. He loves Castle Town. <laughs> Didn't mean to do that.
Nice one cycle, but what the hell? <laughs> what the hell? My man played tennis for so long. Remarkably, that is not even close to the longest tennis match I've had with Ganondorf. Uh, one day I'll make a video on a tennis match I had with him once that lasted like a full minute. Uh, I have super slid into this cutscene because with my shield up, Ganon cannot hit away the Master Sword properly, and so I'll still have the Master Sword for this uh, section of the fight, the like first phase. Uh, which is super crucial because it makes it way faster. Yeah, remarkably not the longest we've seen. So as you can see, I know it looks like it got hit away, but my shield's still up. I'll release it here for a funny camera. Uh, and we still have it. Kind of fitting music, weirdly, given that he is a Gerudo. Gamers, as we approach the end here, usually I would plug my Twitch stream, but I'm actually not gonna do that this time. Uh, because if you have enjoyed what you've seen on stream today, um, I have a YouTube, a second YouTube channel that is just uploads of my streams, and I literally have probably 20 VODs of me doing this exact challenge, but on different seeds, up right now on that YouTube channel. Uh, so my ask today would be, if you're watching right now and enjoying what you see, um, please go to youtube.com slash at ADEFVODs and uh, please subscribe. I'm trying to get to a thousand subscribers on there so that that channel can start making money because right now it's just like a hundred videos with no ads that you can just watch. So go check them out. I've got like a hundred of my old streams there. Go subscribe if you wouldn't mind. There are enough of you here to make that number happen right now. Also time. Uh, there are enough people here literally right now to make that number happen so quickly. Uh, and there's a ton more I'm gonna turn that game down. There's a ton more uploads of me doing this exact challenge there right now. Literally like 10 or 20, maybe 30 of them. Uh, so go check it out. Full length, no ads, just uninterrupted gaming over at that YouTube channel. Especially if you're watching on the YouTube right now, you're already on YouTube. It's like two clicks. Go sub, baby. Um, click that link. Hey, Bobby. Thanks for the tier one for 12 months to the GDQ channel. Yo, Adef, thank you for lending me your Ferrari last weekend. I dropped it off of your, at your lake house afterwards. Yeah, no, no problem, King. Um, uh, anything for my friends. Can someone link it? It's up above a little bit, uh, but it is right here. It is right here. Go pop a sub on it. Even if only one eighth of the people watching the stream right now clicked it, we're in there at the 1K mark, at the four digit mark. Uh, so go click it. It'll take two seconds. The link's right there in chat. Um, check it out. There's also cool like Elden Ring VODs on there, Pokemon challenge runs. I basically just upload all my streams there, so. I did the thing, dongled the bongle. Me when I dongle the bongle. Uh, but gamers, I hope you had fun watching me do this. It's a shame that I did have, uh, eventually have to look at the spoiler log. We would have found it because um, I probably would have done that Gerudo Valley circuit down into Lake Hylia as child not long afterwards. Not fitting music here. Um, thank you to all of you who are subscribing. I appreciate you. Uh, probably wouldn't have had to have used the spoiler log if we had maybe another 45 minutes, maybe another hour. Uh, but to finish in the time allotted... I don't know if it was possible. I would have had to have just gotten lucky and checked those places happenstantially, um, which obviously did not happen. But that's okay. You know what? That's fine. That we 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 take the dubs. We got everything else. It was just one item we needed. I'd, I'd call that a win, as far as a a short amount of time to do an OT no logic all sanity rando is concerned. 
Uh, but gamers, that is going to do it for Challenger approaching today. But that is not the end of the hotfix content. No, no. No, no. We've got speedruns from the crypt, our show featuring horror speedruns, um, hosted by our very own Ekdysis. That'll be up right after this. We're just going to take a brief break, and then we will jump over to that show. So if you want to stick around and watch more amazing speedrunning content, uh, it is in literally like five minutes. Uh, so stick around. Go grab a drink of water or something. Stick around. Thank you to everybody for watching. Appreciate you. Challenger approaching. We're coming up on four years. Pretty sick. Uh, good to see everybody. And uh, stick around for speedruns from the crypt right after this.